All right, here with Matt Benedetto, top ten on the day. How does it feel to to bring this team that's you know really just kind of getting going? Uh, you know, you're you, you're pretty new to them still. How does it feel to get that top ten? Oh man, it's great. It's our shoot second top ten already with Viking Motorsports. Proud of the team. We had an eighth at Talladega and a seventh here at Iowa with overcoming some adversity. I had to come from two laps down after pitting under green, and we knew right from the get go in practice it, they brought me a great car. I mean it. It had good speed, it uh, looks good. A new partner on board with REMA, you know, the Recycled Materials Association. So just uh, really proud to get an awesome run for them. But we knew this, the Mustang had some speed and has good ponies under the hood because we got Roush Yates engines and, you know, just proud of, of the team. And um, I knew it had speed, but uh, I also knew that it was going to need to rotate in the long runs, you know, and so we freed it up to start the race to make sure that that thing turned and didn't beat up the right front tire. And glad we did, obviously, because we saw people having right front issues and we had a good, really good long run car and then had to pit under green, came back from two laps down and had good restarts at the end. Thanks to, you know, my spotter, Doug Campbell, does an awesome job and we were just real aggressive there. And my crew chief, uh, Kevin Johnson, tightened it up for me so we could really be aggressive on them last restarts and we made it happen. Given this is a non-drafting track, is this top 10 any sweeter than the Talladega one? Yeah, uh, it, it is. I mean, any, all of them are hard, you know, and they're all gratis, gratifying. Um, but this is cool. This is very uh, um, encouraging for our team. It really shows that, man, you know, this, this team is doing a great job. And when we hit it, you know, and we're, we're growing, this was just a part, was intended to be a part-time effort starting the year, just handful of races, and then they – committed to me full time and we're building this thing together and it's just uh, shows you know the strength that we have as a team and my pit crew too did a great job thankful to pop tart and all the guys uh, they did a great job over the wall and you know any team is nothing without their pit crew and lastly what what do you think was up with the tires today a lot of people have tire issues uh, luckily you didn't end up in the wall like some of them but what, what do you think was going on yeah I was worried about it in practice because my car was tight and I felt like the longer I'd run, it could really have a tendency to beat up that right front tire and get tight. So um, I think that's why just building a lot of heat in that right front on the new surface, you know, it can just build a lot of heat in the thing. Um, doesn't mean it's necessarily wearing, it just can heat it and blister it and, and uh, come apart there. So I, uh, we really hedged toward our car being free and we would sacrifice spots at the beginning of a run 100%. I, you'd see us kind of go backwards a little on a start but it was intentional because I knew I was like, I cannot get this thing tight. We cannot beat up on the right front in the long run. Then about 15, 20 laps in a row, and all of a sudden you see us just start mowing them down and drive them back by them all. So we had to play that game, you know, and uh, balance, you know, how much to sacrifice early to make sure we were real nice to that right front tire and keeping it free because it would pay dividends. And you know, after you ran about 20, 30 laps, pay a ton. Um, and then at the end, we knew my team did a good job of just tightening it back up so then I could just bonsai the last three starts and make up all those spots and get all the way up to seventh. All right, thanks so much. Kevin Nix with FrontStretch.com. Come back soon for more great racing videos, and if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.